Hello and welcome to Codition. Today I am going to show you a very interesting automation that I am using using LoRa technology. So let me put the problem statement like this. There are two properties, property A and B. The property A has very good signal of Wi-Fi and property B has very bad signal. So sometimes I have to turn on the motors at property B. Uh, maybe manually or using Wi-Fi since the signal is not very good so sometimes there are issues with turning on the relays of property B so what I am doing is I am passing the signal using LoRa from property A to the property B which is like uh, 500 meters or I think uh, 300 400 meters so here what is happening the signal is being transferred from pro chip A of the property A to the property B or the chip B. So if you see over here, I'm using a VMOS D1 R2. You can also use Arduino and then pass the signal to the other chip. The reason for using this because of the ease. So since the property A has a very good Wi-Fi connection, so what we can do is we can take advantage of blink app so what i have done over here i'm using this particular control panel to control the relay so if i turn on this particular switch it will turn on the relay of the property too the reason being if i hard code the relay information in the chip of property a then I would always need to connect it back to the computer and then change the timing everything so in order to avoid that what I have done is I have connected first chip to the blink application and then I am easily managing it and also there is a very good thing in blink app you can use automation so for example at five o'clock I want to turn on relay one I can easily do do that in blink application so let me show you what I mean. So here is this aut automation option. Then I can create a new automation and schedule it. Say 10 p.m. And then I can choose my chip here. This is LoRa which is already being used. And then I can choose the option to turn it on and off. And then I can use a wait over here how long you want to turn it on and then you can turn it off you can also send email you can also log event in case you are not able to see these options in the automations in that case you would need to go to the your application control panel and then go to the data stream and then turn on this option exposed to automations so using automation i can schedule these events and automatically turn on this this particular relays using blink using blink and then passing signal from chip a to b and that can be completely automated and uh, this is a like a great uh, a solution that i came with uh, with the wi-fi issues that i had in past so I hope uh, you will find this video useful and I am also sharing the github link in the description. In case you face any issues then you should read this information very carefully. I have tried my best to put the information on this one. So let me show you. Here you can use node MCU as well. I would recommend using node MCU because I am using this one because I had this pair so I just wanted to use it. So these are the connection diagram and this is D1 then for Arduino as well then these are the chips. In case you are not using Blink app you are using just um, uh, you just want to learn it or you know play uh, with this this uh, LoRa uh, technology then I would suggest you can use any Arduino uh, chip and then use it. So I hope uh, this will help you to learn more about LoRa. Thank you for watching and for similar kind of videos you may subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day ahead. Bye bye.